Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I am about to plant some lettuce. And y'all, I've already planted lettuce outside, but I was thinking that I needed some lettuce inside because sometimes in the evening or even in the middle of the night, I get hungry for lettuce and the lettuce is all outside. So if I want to make a salad or if I want to add some to a smoothie or if I even want to make me a stir fry, I got to go outside at night if I don't have any fresh lettuce inside the house. So I decided I was going to plant some lettuce into my um, cells right here. I'm just going to put some into these containers and then later I'm going to pop it into a window box and I'll keep it sitting in my growth station for as long as I decide to do this. Because just it's right now, I've just been having that craving at night and my lettuce is all outside. So, you know, the things change. Sometimes you might decide to do something else, but for right now, I need some lettuce inside the house. So the varieties that I'm gonna be planting, I have some slow boat arugula. I want some of this in the house because I love arugula mixed in with my salads because it has that little uh, spicy bite to it. It adds some good flavor to my salad. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do some arugula. I have some uh, butter crunch lettuce. This is my favorite. I'm also going to do some Simpson lettuce. I don't have a picture. I'm going to do some endive. I don't have a picture for that either. And endive is very delicious. I'm going to put some uh, bronze beauty in there. It is a beauty. I have some of this planted outside. Garden tour, I could not think of the name of this, but it is bronze beauty. I have some of this planted in the garden. And also some Chadwick's Rodin. I have some o Rock in the garden. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plant some of this. And this is called a Yetta Cool. This is one of the free seeds I got from Baker Creek. And also some flashy button gem. So those are the lettuces that I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put them into these cells. I have some other cells over here. I had already started planting and I was planting some more Moringa. I planted it already and I um, was also snacking on some Moringa seeds. And it, uh, Moringa seeds are, they don't taste delicious, but they are something that you might want to snack on because of the benefits. And I was reading where Moringa had uh, been known to help with disorders of your nervous system, like Alzheimer's, uh, neuropathy, and uh, some other disorders of the nervous system. I just peeled the hard shell off of the seeds and popped the seed in my mouth. And at first I was trying to... Um, eat the shell too. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Although they say all of them, all of the parts of the Moringa are edible. That shell was a little hard, but um, the seed is a uh, snack. You can have it for a snack and it has very, very good health benefits. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start planting this lettuce because I want to have lettuce inside the house when I'm ready for it. When I want it, I want it to be ready and I'm gonna have some inside the house. So first I'm gonna start with this butter crunch lettuce. As I said, this one is my favorite. And I'm gonna start planting in this in these containers right here. And I've already moistened my soil. I, I bottom watered the soil, then I poured some on top. So the soil is moist. And these seeds are very, very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here and sprinkle a few seeds on top of this. And this is my butter crunch. Make my labels as I go along. The next one is the flashy butter gem. And 
And then whenever these, uh, the lettuce germinates, I would just take these cells out and pop them into my window box. That is the plan. Right now, I, I probably could go ahead and put this in the window box, but the thing is right now, I don't have a window box available for this. So I could probably end up putting it into a pot, but right now, I think it's gonna be a window box because I think the window box would fit better in under my grow station. And I will be having this growing under lights. So this is the Butter Gym. Okay, next is the Slow Boat Arugula. And I've had these uh, seeds right here for a long time, these slow boat arugula. So hopefully I'll get some good uh, germination. The next one is the yellow cool. That was a lot. Okay, now we're going to add some of the O'Rock. I have some of this growing outside, but I haven't tried it yet. Bronze Beauty. I can just go ahead and sprinkle all these in because there are just a few seeds left. Okay, so now I just go back and put some, add a little bit of potting. So I just go ahead and use my cup and apply some soil to the top of these seeds. And then I'm going to add some vermiculite to the top also. This is to keep the algae down and the fungus nets. Okay, so we don't even have to water this because I told you I've already watered it from the bottom. There is water in the bottom of here and I also moisten the soil on top. So now I can move these to the side and I can 
go ahead and do these trays. And this is the one that I've already did my Moringa in while I was having my snack. So the next one that we're gonna be doing is the endive. Sprinkle some seeds on the top of the soil. And cover it lightly with some more soil and some vermiculite. And I have water at the bottom and the top of this soil already also. So that was my endive. And the next one is the Chadwick's Rodin. And I have taped the back of my packages, or my seed packages, and so that is why it's taking me a minute to get it apart. But I tape them so that the seeds won't fall out. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top. Top it with a little potty mix, not a whole bunch because the seeds are tiny. And some vermiculite. Add my label, Chadwick's Rodin. And the last one is my Simpson lettuce. Yeah, I may love having lettuce inside the house so much that I do it for a long time or as long as I can, or I may not like the idea and I might change it, but that is what is so interesting about gardening is that we change our mind. We do things differently. You don't always do things exactly the same. And right now I have came upon the need for some lettuce when the lettuce is not available inside the house. And so I, I feel like, okay, it's time to have some lettuce inside the house because I've been, uh, right now I'm using a lot of lettuce. So I have my lettuces all planted up and they are going to grow on the, go on to the grow station. And I have been wanting some sunflowers in my garden. And last season I planted sunflowers and I only had like, I had one variety of sunflowers to grow in my garden last season when I had planted about 10 varieties. So I was not happy with that at all. So this season I have also planted more sunflowers and I planted them outside in my winter grow method. I do have some sunflowers that are uh, coming up in that method and I know that it's early and it's too early to tell if they're all gonna be germinating or not. But I can't afford to take the chance of having one variety of sunflowers in my garden this season. And for some reason, these sunflowers did not uh, germinate the way that I think that they should have. So I decided, as I said, to try another method. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these sunflower seeds into these Ziploc bags. And I am going to moisten the... I've got some... Uh, paper towel inside of the Ziploc and I'm going to moisten this paper towel and then I'm going to put my seeds in here and let them germinate 
inside of this bag before I plant them into my cells and then into the garden. And so this may take a little longer, but this way I'll know when these seeds have germinated and I'll know which seeds are viable and you know, I can decide what I'm gonna do with those seeds that are not. So I um, have some different varieties here and there are no pictures, but I have uh, some, they're called long sunflower seeds. I bought these in one of these variety packs that I order where I get different, you know, varieties sometimes. So that is what I did with these. And this is what I have. I have a, I have a long, I have tall, I have dwarf, red, lucky, yeah, lucky, <laughs> ornamental, rubecchia, purple, and teddy bear. And then these are some sunflower seeds that I purchased or someone sent me. And these are the mammoths. I think I purchased these myself. These are the mammoths. So the mammoth Russian. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, uh, I've already gotten all the names written on the front of these Ziploc bags. And so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to moisten the paper towels that are inside and get all my other seeds out of the way out of my lettuce seeds out of the way and I am going to moisten the inside of these ziplocks and then we're going to put our seeds in there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my spray bottle and I'm just going to spray some water inside of each one of these bags and I don't have to have it just uh, really wet. I just want to get it moistened. And then I'm going to put my seeds inside and leave them. And then I'll come back and check on them. And when I see germination, then that's when I'm going to plant them. So sometimes you have to try different methods. That's what makes uh, gardening so interesting. And it also makes it fun. And then you learn in the process which ways work better. Especially once you're dealing with something that is, uh, seems like it's uh, hard to germinate. So this one is the long. And these are the seeds, the long seeds. And I'm gonna put I'm going to just go ahead and put a few seeds in here because of the fact that I've had these seeds for a while. And now the first year that I had my greenhouse, I was able to get some of these different varieties. And they were growing inside the greenhouse. And I don't remember ever having any growing outside of the greenhouse. Okay, so I got these in here and they are between, some of them are between the paper towel. Some of them are on the outside of the paper towel, but that'd be okay. Okay, so this one is the dwarf. And all the seeds look similar. Some of them are a little uh, larger than others. So they are all brown to black in color. Some of them have a little variation. Where they've got some, a combination of like a cream, black, and brown on them. I guess I could cut a larger 
hole so that I can get some of these seeds to come out instead of trying to squeeze them out through that tiny hole. So this is the dwarf. And I'm trying to get them all in the center, in the middle of this paper towel. them back into their little bag. Okay, so this one did the long. This one's the tall. And hopefully this season we will get to uh, see what all of these look like. Because really, to be honest with you, I do not know what all of them look like. This one is the lucky. Okay, see some of these have that brown and like a variegated color. Some like the tan. So I'm just gonna drop, drop a, quite a few of these in because these seem like these are, these may be different. I'm not gonna put all of them in, but I'm gonna put a few more than I did on the other ones Just because this may be different varieties. One's trying to get away. Hey, these are the teddy bear. I'm trying to spread them out when I put them in there instead of having them all on top of each other. This next one is the red. And I was really looking forward to all of these and uh, the color ones, the red and the purple are two that I really was um, excited about. And just haven't never gotten a chance to see them. So this year we're gonna see if these seeds are any good and we will get a chance to enjoy these different colors of sunflower. Okay, the next one is the Rubecchia. This one is 
the purple. Go ahead and get this mammoth. And I don't think that these would be so hard because these are some large seeds. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to put them in there also because we already got a place made for them. That I think that this, the mammoth, is the one that has already germinated for me out in the winter. So, so now we have the plush. And the ornamental. Did I put the? I think I put the. Oh, here it is. I was beginning to think that I had already planted, but okay, here are the plush. Because I am very excited about getting these sunflowers out in the garden i want to have them all over because for one thing the sunflowers um they're beautiful they attract the pollinators but they also are a trap crop for some of those unwanted uh pests like aphids and that leaf-footed bug i did not like that leaf-footed bug last year was the first time that i could ever uh remember having to deal with that leaf-footed bug because y'all remember, I was asking you all, what is this thing? And it was, I mean, it, it came in and just tried to just take over. It was all over my tomatoes, and I did not like it at all. So I sprayed it with the, uh, I think it was BT and soap and water, and it did not like that. It, it, uh, I got it, to, you know, out of the garden. But this year, I hopefully don't have to deal with those, but I, I think, you know, that that's just a part of gardening, those leaf-footed bugs. And they did uh, get attracted to the sunflower, though. And they got in the sunflower, and they would stay there. They would just be in the sunflower plant. You know, in that big, I had that big uh, yellow sunflower, and they would just get in there, and they would hang out right there. And then it made, me, made it easier for me to just go over there and spray them off of that instead of having to run all over the garden or each tomato to try and get them. Or I could just remove that big sunflower that they were. I mean, because sometimes they had it where you couldn't even see the sunflower. They would, have, they would be all over it. So I just would take it out. So um, it is a, a trap crop for some of those bugs. So I have them all inside of these bags now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them somewhere where they can remain moist. I think I'm gonna get a plastic container and put them and put a lid on top of it where they can uh, stay moist. And they are not really, really wet, but they are moist. And so I'm gonna put them all in there and we're gonna keep an eye on them and we'll check back. And I'm gonna check back uh, in a few days and um, I'll let you all know. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video and that you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.